I wish upon everything in my technological soul, I could have been a fly on the wall of this conversation, Paul Thrapp. Okay. Because according to Bloomberg, during a conversation between uh, Microsoft executives and Eddie Q over at Apple, Eddie Q said to them and said, hey, how much money are you going to pay us if we make Bing the default search engine? And Microsoft turned around and said, hey, how much are you going to pay us to buy Bing? Yeah, that thing that was the center of their AI push this year. Yeah. That thing that I constantly said is a joke that nobody wants or uses. I know. What was the figure? I think there was a number. They, uh, that Microsoft I don't, had. I don't was know if there was a number or not, but Apple no, was no, like, no, 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 no. Thought there was a not. number. I'm sorry, maybe not. I mean, maybe for how much they might pay, but uh, to be the default. But yeah, I just I think Apple's response should have been, "We'll take it off your hands." I mean, <laughs> we'll I, give it a good I, look. It will stay on your infrastructure. Well, I guess we'll pay you for that. I yeah, but the fact that yeah. Microsoft is like, no, 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 we'll give this mm-hmm. to you is uh, just a vote Very of confidence in the early 2020s. Indeed. So, anyways, kind of, kind of crazy. I, I don't know. Like that's whatever. Google announced a Fitbit charge because they didn't want to wait till next week's Pits- Pixel event. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I love your cynicalness. It's uh, something I don't possess. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Um, but um, you know, I, maybe th- that tells me maybe there's enough going on there, right? Um, I like the optimistic and... view there. I like that. I, I mean, that, that's me. You know, I'm always the uh, the silver lining on the cloud guy, the uh, out of your pants, the flower there. growing in shit person. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, fair enough. I mean, uh, this is the first tracker to have Google services integrated into mm-hmm. it, right? Um, I have a charge five, and um, I don't think I. I mean, based on. I don't think I need to. Plus, by the way, I, I mean, we'll see if this pans out, but there's a possibility if I pre-order a Pixel 8 Pro, which I will be, mm. that I could get a, a free Pixel Watch too, right? So there's something to use instead, or at least test instead. We'll see. Yeah, that's a confusion. Maybe, maybe that's why they don't want to announce it at that event, because that would be too much. Would take like, there you, yeah, yeah. You had a watch and a Fit. I don't know. Like, they need to get rid of the Fitbit smartwatches. I, well, except those things actually do get good battery life. I don't know. Do we need three levels of things? I, I don't know. Do we? Like, I was just wondering, do they even need Fitbit anymore? I mean, I feel like... Well, this is this is my Apple Watch conundrum, right? The thing I liked about it in and, and Pixel Watch and the Fitbit smartwatches, right, is you, I like the bigger screen, of course. Uh, color helps. Charge has color now. A five and six at least have a color. Um, just being able to see the screen is nice. Do I need the one million things that an Apple Watch does or the almost one million things that a Pixel Watch thing does? I, I mean, honestly, no. I, no, and I don't. For me, there is a, a kind of a lower level. It's sort of like a, a fitness tracker plus some small number of things. And I think that's where the, the Fitbit watches actually fall in. Plus, they get the battery life. And that, there's your advantage right there. What, what do you want more? Seven days of battery life or, you know, a million functions? You know, you're Dick Tracy. Now. I don't know. Some people, I mean, well, most people obviously have made their vote. Um, so maybe I'm off base here. But I do think there's a market for that kind of middle ground thing. I Maybe. Mm. I mean, yeah. that clearly yeah. Google thinks so because that's why they're building. Yeah, this. although we'll see, right? Because one of the things they could do is get rid of the, uh, the I think they have two of them now, right? Versa and whatever mm-hmm. the one's called, Nessie or something, or the Nina and the Pinta and the Santa Maria, whatever. What are those, the names of these things? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the map. Um, who knows? I will find it. Maybe we'll find out next week. Is it next week? So next week's yeah, October, next week. Brad, all of a sudden. It's happening very quick. It is. Like we, September's over. Like what happened to September? I it was my yeah. birthday, and then Ju- like July and August just evaporated. I know. Then... I think Green Day has a song about that. Um, yeah. I don't know. Here we are. Yeah, I don't know. Here we are. I mean, it's whatever. October is next week. I'll tell you though, dude. This week has been. I mean, last week obviously historic. Yeah. <laughs> Historically busy, but really this week has been crazy too. Like it's uh, it just kind of continues and. Um, Oh, to, uh, to, uh, someone emailed me this. I, sorry, I should have just forwarded it to you. But you uh, made the point that if Panos Panay was going to take over at Amazon, he, he, he has a board seat at Sonos, and mm-hmm. that's not going to work because yep. uh, they're competitors. They're partners, but they're also competitors. And uh, he did uh, leave the Sonos Oh, did board. he? Yep. Oh. Well. Yep. To your point. 
You had to, right? I mean, you, that's yeah. I mean, that would have been real weird. To... Yeah. Well, I don't think he. I don't legally. I don't think he can do it. Once yeah. they put out a 10Q or whatever it is that says they they are our primary competitor, you can't. Which was the Google Apple thing yeah. before Android, right? Remember, uh, Eric Schmidt was on the Apple board. And it was like, oof, uh, <laughs> you know. Uh, also related to that, a, a much more nuanced view of the Apple Google relationship coming out of this trial, uh, related to your Bing story earlier, where mm -hmm. they were like. I, they had nothing bad to say about Google. Now, granted, they agreed before the trial, we're going to talk you up here, you know, and your importance to us and all that stuff. But, um, it, it, like, this isn't just about money, uh, this relationship with search on Safari back in the day on Mac, but now on the iPhone, right? And uh, Eddie Q, I mean, lots of just lots of Google love there, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Steve Jobs uh, rolling in his grave, uh, I would think. Uh, I believe, what was the phrase? Thermonuclear war? Yes. I These guys I... might have the most lucrative partnership in big tech. That sounds like an overreach, but it could be true. It's up there, right? Yeah. Tens of billions of dollars, somewhere in that area. Yeah, and what is Apple? Apple doesn't really have to do a whole lot. I can't imagine there's a lot of engineering so, lift. Here's, here's a little tip for iPhone users. This is actually kind of interesting. One of the things that did come out of this was, and one of the agreements they got out of Google, because, of course, one of the questions is, like, you guys promote privacy, and Google is the exact opposite of that. How do you rectify these two things? And a lot of nonsense in there. But the, the, the little takeaway is if you don't sign into Google Search, like you have Google Search in you know Safari or mm -hmm. any other browser, I guess, and you just use Google Search there in the browser... Um, if you don't sign into your Google account, they don't track. There's no tracking. Yeah. So, if you are an iPhone user, uh, one of the things you might care about is privacy and security and all that stuff, right? I mean, that would be one reason to be there. Uh, maybe uh, sign out of your Google account. <laughs> you know, it just mm -hmm. and that makes it so you get all the benefits of Google with none of the tracking and none of the nonsense. Uh, people seem to think this is important, but like uh, you've searched before, so we're going to tailor things for you. Like, no, it's just give me, I just I'm looking for an answer here. Like, don't worry about that stuff. Not a bad like idea. An answer engine. Yeah, yes. That's a good marketing point. Someone should try that. Yeah, they really should. Hmm. Yeah, answer yeah. engine. Yeah. I like it. Well, and then also what really came out of that too is that uh, Apple was just never, never seriously considered using mm -mm. thing. That was just. Which kind of puts that story you talked about up front in perspective because it shows the desperation on Microsoft's part to unload this waste mm -hmm. of time. Although now, you know, it factors into things, I guess. Just like Xbox, right? I mean, Xbox. We probably would have made the case as much as we love it. Uh, not to, not so long ago, five years ago, certainly ten years ago. Uh, spin this thing off, guys. Like, what what does this have to do with the rest of your business? It doesn't make any sense. Now it actually does fit in, and honestly, God love them. They figured out a way for Bing to fit in too. So um, it's too bad about the brand, but maybe they call it Copilot. You know, yeah. Copilot.com. I don't know. I don't know. It is Friday after all. So that is. Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Raspberry Pi, a new version out. Yeah. yeah. Four years, dude. Four. Was it four? No. Well, for that model, they they had little single board things they did. And they had, they also did the little keyboard version of it. But okay. by, the, by the time 2020 ended, they were not doing. The, and I don't know, it was 2022? Mm -hmm. uh, Eben Uptum, I think is his name, the guy who runs the company, you know, the foundation, said, we we will not be able to ship one in 2023, a new one. We've been looking at a, fi a five forever, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are actually doing it now. So it will happen by the end of the year. And with supply chain issues and costs, and they're small. You know, they're, these yeah. dude, these things sell for nothing. Like, you run down the peripheral list, it's like the the, the board itself is like 30 bucks. The This thing is like 12 bucks. This is five bucks. This is one buck. Like, it's like, it's silly. Like, it's they're, they're silly cheap. So, um, you know, when you're not like a big comp uh, tech company with billions to throw at people, mm -hmm. you can see they really suffered uh, from that supply chain stuff. Uh, you but mean I'm, they're I'm, not I'm on just... TSMC's new three nanometer? Yeah, no, I don't think. No, no, they absolutely are not. Um, they're still using, you know, Broadcom uh, ARM chips. Uh, mm -hmm. They've been 60 for a bit for a while, by the way. I mean, but uh, anyway, it, it's I'm. This is one of those things, like, I don't know if this is empathy or whatever you call it. Like, I don't really need one of these. I'm never really going to use one. It's not going to be my, my computer for obvious reasons. But I'm so excited they're doing this. I, I really like this enthusiast kind of maker, yeah. uh, you know, free to cheap kind of part of the market where, you, you know, you as a, a young person or not a young person, doesn't matter. You could use this thing to learn how to program or mm -hmm. just learn how computers work or learn to build things. I mean, I, I, this is, this is um, 
this is this stuff is quickly becoming a lost skill, and uh, and it's it, I think it was an important part of my upbringing. I don't know for you, I guess it was still right because you you were hit right on the beginning of the whole PC thing, and yeah. I I think we we when when everything becomes so easy and you know you you lose track of the the skills you know yeah the soldering and the old yeah right yep. I the, I the first time I had to add a, a card to a computer to put a CD-ROM drive in, like right at the beginning of that. This was like one X, read only, right? I I I my fingers were bleeding from all the metal in there, and I I actually cried. I was so upset, like I couldn't figure, like because it's all these little dip switches and yep. cables. You have to get them exactly right, and I I it was so awful. And I want everyone to go through that, Brad. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? That's what you people are not getting. It's the pain and the crying. There was a picture <laughs> in a, a, on Reddit. It was an old hard drive. Yeah. And it's where, you remember you used to, have to do the jumpers. You had to you'd yep. pull that little oh, plastic thing off. Of course I remember. Off, yep. And then push it on there. And, and somebody, clearly a younger person, said, what port do I connect to this? Love it. Or what cable? Sure. What, where's the USB adapter for this thing? Yeah. You used to be able to fire a, um, a bullet at a Winchester hard drive and it would survive. You know? If I heard a bullet shot, I would die. I would. 